at his hips. I see him coming out in a panic. Now it will either result in two things. He will come forward in a panic or he will back off in a panic. But either way he'll be in a panic. I believe the very first exchange he will be hurt and he will be hurt badly. First exchange he's definitely on one knee, he's definitely wobbled badly. Then I believe he will be on the back foot. Then I believe I will play with him. End of the first round he will be he will be unconscious. His weaknesses, obviously his chin, you know, see his chin, you know, it, it, it's I look, don't get me wrong, I like the kid. He's a quiet little hillbilly. First off, I want to say Connor took this, you know, this this result very professionally over here. He, he's a he's a pro man, and nothing but respect. We're one and one. Maybe we have to do it again, you know. But uh, I'm just happy, man. I'm, I'm 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 happy in the place I am. Like I say over again, I'm happy with the man I see in the mirror. And this fight is great. This win is great. If you listen really close, you can hear every featherweight in the division cry. Oh, why is he getting the quick turnaround? Why is he on this big, the biggest card of the year? You know, I love it. I lap it up. I rub it in their faces. I kept talking more and more and more hype and more hype. I saw an opportunity here to, to maybe headline a card or be on a big pay-per-view. Get a lot of light on the featherweight division and get to shut this guy around. Yeah, he, his, his skill level has stagnated. Personally, I don't think he wants to fight. I get the same vibe off of him as I got off of Cole. He talks a little bit more with his mouth than with his hands, I think. But that being said, he, he's beat everybody he said he was going to beat, you know. But now he's, he's got himself into a serious situation.